Howdy guys, I love history, statistics, and Linux. Now what better way to combine all three than look over DistroWatch over the years and compare how popular distros have done. So I know DistroWatch is about visits to that site and not actual installations, but I think it's a good tool for trend analysis. Trend analysis is essentially looking at historic patterns, not specific numbers. The trends on DistroWatch actually mirror very closely, those on Google Trends. And you'll see this when we get to the Ubuntu section of the video. So I've set up this nice little spreadsheet with the DistroWatch data. It's from 2002 all the way to 2022. I thought 20 years would be a nice round year range. Let's begin with Mandrake Linux, AKA Mandriva. Mandrake was a really, really user-friendly KDE-based distro that was super popular in the early 2000s. You could say it was the OG, user-friendly desktop. Now you've probably heard of Mandrakes from Harry Potter, but it was also the name of a newspaper comic featuring a magician of some sort. The creators of the comic didn't like the use of the name. So after a court case, Mandrake had to change names to Mandriva Linux. Around 2005, the popularity seems to taper off. The company was not doing too well either. Some of the former employees got together and started work on Magia Linux as a fork of Mandriva. So check that out if you're interested. So Ubuntu Linux starts in 2004, and then in 2005, it literally debuts at the top of the list. It then just stays in the top 10 for the next 15 plus years. When it is overtaken in 2011, it's actually by Linux Mint, which is in turn an Ubuntu derivative. I remember when Ubuntu first came on the scene, they used to mail out live CDs for free. Those live CDs, usability and ease of use wise, were streets ahead of any other distro at the time. Interestingly, live CD distributions didn't really exist until around the early 2000s. You couldn't try Linux, you had to install it every time. Nopix, which appears in the list in 2003, was one of the original and popular live CDs. I think Ubuntu and all other distros after Nopix probably used live CDs to really break into the desktop user base. We can't talk about Ubuntu without mentioning its granddaddy Debian. Debian has been around forever. I mean, just look at that consistency. Debian has been around since 1993, which is way, way before DistroWatch itself, and is one of the oldest Linux distros that is still maintained. The only other distro that's older is Slackware, which I will highlight here. Two other distros that have been around for a long time and do not have Debian lineage are Fedora and OpenSUSE. Now I am grouping them together because there are some similarities in that both distros have large parent companies prominent in the server space and use these distros as their freely available open source versions. SUSE has been primarily a KDE distro while Fedora's main focus has been GNOME. Of course, we can't end this video without looking at Arch Linux. Now, I was initially surprised Arch Linux was developed in 2002 and shows up on the chart in 2006, but despite its obvious popularity, seems to drop off in more recent years. That is, until you add in its derivative distros. Manjaro Linux and Endeavor OS seem to be very popular ways to run Arch Linux. They bring in the power of Arch Linux's rolling release schedule in a more user-friendly, desktop-friendly package. Okay guys, we were almost done. Here's a Google Trends graph showing the drop in Mandrake Linux and the sudden increase in Ubuntu in 2005. I find this stuff and anything Linux related super interesting. If you do too, please subscribe and drop a like. Until next time.